staying strong, healthy, and youthful. By subscribing, liking, and ringing, you can greatly support our channel and help us produce more content that you'll love. Hello and welcome to the Longevity Lifestyle YouTube channel. Unraveling Frank's Sign In the field of medicine, sometimes seemingly unrelated signs and symptoms can provide valuable insights into a person's overall health. One such intriguing sign is known as Frank's Sign, which manifests as diagonal earlobe creases. While it may appear insignificant at first glance, this subtle physical feature has been associated with a range of health conditions, including coronary artery disease and dementia. In this video, we'll be talking about the concept of Frank's sign, explore its potential connections to various diseases, and discuss its significance in clinical practice. By familiarizing ourselves with this peculiar sign, we can further empower ourselves in maintaining good health and early disease detection. 1. Understanding Frank's sign. Frank's sign is named after Dr. Sanders T. Frank, who first described the association between diagonal earlobe creases and cardiovascular disease in the late 1970s. Dr. Frank observed that a significant number of patients with coronary artery disease exhibited this characteristic earlobe crease, sparking interest in its potential diagnostic value. Identifying Frank's sign. Frank's sign is characterized by a diagonal or oblique crease that extends from the tragus of the ear to the bottom of the earlobe. It is usually more prominent and deeper in individuals with coronary artery disease or other related health conditions. 2. The association with coronary artery disease. The link between Frank's sign and coronary artery disease. Numerous epidemiological studies have established a significant association between Frank's sign and coronary artery disease. Patients with coronary artery disease are more likely to exhibit earlobe creases compared to those without the disease. However, the underlying mechanisms linking the two remain unclear, with various theories proposed, including microvascular changes and alterations in collagen and elastic fibers. Diagnostic value and clinical implications. Frank's sign has garnered attention as a potential diagnostic marker for coronary artery disease. When evaluating patients with suspected coronary artery disease, the presence of earlobe creases can be considered alongside other risk factors. Incorporating Frank's sign into coronary artery disease risk assessment algorithms may help improve early detection and preventive strategies. However, it is important to note that Frank's sign is not specific to coronary artery disease and may also be observed in individuals without cardiovascular disease. 3. Frank's sign and neurological disorders. Investigating the connection to dementia. Beyond cardiovascular health, Frank's sign has also been associated with neurodegenerative disorders, particularly dementia. Studies have shown a higher prevalence of earlobe creases in patients with dementia compared to healthy individuals. The exact mechanisms underlying this association are still not fully understood, but vascular and genetic factors may play a role. Other neurological conditions. In addition to dementia, Frank's sign has been linked to other neurological conditions such as cerebrovascular diseases, including stroke. Research suggests that the presence of earlobe creases may be indicative of increased risk for certain cerebrovascular events. However, more studies are needed to establish a definitive connection. 4. Other potential associations. Cardiovascular and metabolic disorders. Apart from coronary artery disease, Frank's sign has been associated with other cardiovascular and metabolic disorders. Studies have reported an increased prevalence of earlobe creases in individuals with hypertension and diabetes. These associations may be attributed to shared risk factors and underlying vascular abnormalities. Beyond disease. Controversies and limitations. While the correlation between Frank's sign and various diseases is intriguing, it is important to acknowledge the limitations and controversies surrounding this sign. Some studies have reported inconsistent findings or conflicting results. The presence of Frank's sign alone is not sufficient to diagnose a specific disease, as it can also be observed in individuals without any underlying health conditions. Therefore, it should be considered as part of a comprehensive assessment and in conjunction with other clinical findings and diagnostic tests. 5. The importance of detailed self-observation. Understanding your body's clues. The discovery of associations between Frank's sign and different health conditions highlights the significance of self-observation. Paying attention to subtle physical features, such as earlobe creases, can serve as an early warning sign and prompt further evaluation. 
Developing self-awareness and actively engaging in regular self-examination can empower individuals to take charge of their health and seek timely medical attention when needed. Seeking medical attention. While self-observation is crucial, it is essential to recognize the importance of professional medical evaluation. If you notice the presence of Frank's sign or any other concerning physical feature, it is advisable to consult a healthcare professional. They can conduct a thorough assessment, consider your medical history, perform relevant tests, and provide appropriate guidance based on your individual circumstances. Conclusion. Frank's sign, characterized by diagonal earlobe creases, has emerged as a potential clue to underlying health conditions, particularly coronary artery disease and dementia. While the exact mechanisms and clinical significance of this sign are still being investigated, its observation can serve as an additional piece of information for early detection and intervention. However, it is crucial to approach Frank's sign within the context of a comprehensive medical evaluation, as it is not specific to any particular disease. By embracing the practice of detailed self-observation and maintaining a proactive approach to healthcare, we can strive for better health outcomes and improve our overall well-being. Remember, your body often provides subtle hints about your health, and being attuned to these clues can be a valuable tool in maintaining a healthy life. Thank you for watching and we hope this video has been informative and helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more videos on health and wellness. See you in the next one.